General um, features on observation include gross deformities like barrel chest, pectus excavatum, a pectus carinatum, or spinal deformities associated with kyphosis and scoliosis. Mrs. Smith, I'm going to examine your chest now. Okay. Can you take a deep breath in for me? And out. Thank you very much. And can you sit forward for me now? Thank you. Thank you. We continue with inspection of the abdomen. Again, we briefly observe for gross features before close inspection. When examining the abdomen, I start by looking at the overall shape and body morphology. Look for swelling, um, whether this is uniform or localised. Check for skin lesions and discolorations, such as spider nevi, uh, prominent abdominal veins or bruising. Also, importantly, check for any scars. Mm. Spider nevi. Now, tell me a bit more about that. Are spider nevi always indicative of pathologies? Um, they're often indicative of liver pathologies. The accepted opinion is that more than five spider nevi on the upper part of the body may be of clinical significance. These might indicate liver pathologies. However, they can occur in the first trimester of pregnancy as a result of hormone changes. Mrs Smith, I'm going to examine your abdomen now, and for that okay. I need you to be lying flat. Okay. okay. It is also important that we inspect the groin areas. Check for evidence of lymph node enlargement of the horizontal or superficial inguinal lymph nodes. Also look out for hernia over the abdomen and inguinal regions. If a hernia is suspected, this can be confirmed with the patient standing and through palpation. I'm just going to further uncover you. Okay. 